this is the first poem that I wrote for Loud Poets. Uh, we did this fantastic uh, themed ones, didn't you, one season, when one it was a Monty Python and, uh, and they did the best video. Do you remember the video we did? Anyway, I'm going to read it. So here we go. And now for something completely different. I took him to meet my mum. She was Michael Palin in a fancy frock, all deep throat, high pitch, posh English lady, putting him on his best behaviour. My uncles appeared in red robes, pulled out the thumb screws with surprise and ruthless efficiency, but it was not him we expected. At least he's a Catholic. Nana, all Terry Jones in her headscarf and pinny, says from behind the sofa before throwing a bottle of navy rum, missing him but hitting a nun on a unicycle. The old white man god winked from behind a can of can a can can of toffs and suspenders and we planned our escape but I was too tired to walk and it was every walk he remembered from the ministry of silly walks that got us home before the Romans came to build yet another wall and what have those fuckers ever done for us his da says but is interrupted by a twit and a dicky bow pointing us in not so completely new direction to a boarding house in Minehead and I start to suspect the guests of biting babies and hiding fascists and as he fast forwards the holy grail so we can learn perfectly the insults to whisper them through the walls at midnight your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries Weeping in the bathroom over yet another lost piggy, he sings the lumberjack song to me, feeds me grapes and we down a bottle of Lucasade and burp bubbles and gorillas float up to the roof, board a spitfire, shoot down another Friday night and when I'm not sure we're right for each other, worry I've made my mistake, he drives us to Dune Castle takes coconut shells from the boot of his car and we are knights and sirens and dirty peasants and kings and French maids and when I think I should have chosen a poet or an artist or the Irish priest from Fleabag <laughs> when I wish to register a complaint be living in a garret in Paris he says you think this parrot is dead? <laughs> I thought, I thought I needed completed completely, but I really don't. I was fully grown. So I let him take me on a completely different path to a completely different life aboard his flying circus. Now he pats my ass and gives me that sneaky wink of his and he's not the fucking Messiah, but Jesus. He's some man, my man. And our wee pets, red face, hiding behind their paws, dodging one massive foot, sing song in unison. He's a very naughty boy, and he's that, and he's mine, and here comes the night to smack us with a rubber chicken, and here comes the Spanish Inquisition, and here it is, laid out and leaking, a love story for the taken, and like a wafer thin mint, it's hard to take, but we do it anyway, before exploding before we're all just our insides, outside, vomit on the walls. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button, if you could hit the subscribe button, and make sure to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us in the future. If you want to go that extra mile and support us a little further, we do have a Patreon channel with loads of exclusive goodies, and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate your help, guys, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.